what you really have to do is you have to ask yourself some questions and you have to kind of relate the certificate to yourself yourself and the situation that you are in because seeing as it is a mass consumption product the real thing is that you have to kind of hey guys my name is ali and i'm a data analytics manager working in austin norway in this video i want to talk about whether or not i think you should get a data analyst certificate if this is your first time finding me on this channel i talk about everything related to data analysis so if you want to see more videos on that then subscribe to my channel the first thing i want to talk about is what is a data analyst certificate and let's take a look at some examples out there then I want to talk about why do people get a data analyst certificate and at last I want to ask some questions that you should ask yourself if you are thinking about getting one. So the first question is what is a data analyst certificate and if you really think about it what it is that some people have sat down they have asked themselves you know if someone wants to become a data analyst what is the material that we have to kind of put together and, and try and figure out a good path for them to follow so that they reach a certain level or a certain proficiency. And I found a couple different data analyst certificates that we can take a look at just to see this exemplified. So let's start out with the IBM data analyst certificate. And you will, you will see a pattern in, in these ones. You can see that you have some different courses and they kind of follow a, a, a certain structure that will go through in, in all of them. You know, it starts out with an introduction, but do you notice that, you know, there are different tools. They use different tools to exemplify what it is that they're trying to teach you. Like all of them, you know, they have different courses and it just, you just follow a path that someone says, you know, this is what it's going to, this is the best way for you to progress so that you reach a certain point where you are proficient as a data analyst. And it usually ends up with a capstone project. So this is the IBM one and you can see they use Excel, they use Cognos, and then they use some, uh, some Python. You got some databases, SQL. Um, data visualization, a lot of different topics. If you take a look at the Google Data Analytics Professional, you will see that that also follows a very similar route. You know, you have different different courses, and since these are on Coursera, they look very, very similar. But you know, you have foundations, introduction, and then you have uh, same same pro same process. It, it leads up to a certain point. There are some different tools. Um, I believe they use R and Tableau, R for advanced analysis and Tableau for data visualization and then at the end there is a capstone uh, and then we have the Microsoft Certified Data Analyst and the reason I'm showing you this is because the, the whole purpose is to show you guys that these are these are products that are created for mass consumption you, you break it down it's a certain pathway that you follow the whole point is that you're supposed to get proficient in something and then at the end you know why do people get it it's because you are supposed to end up with some sort of certificate of recognition that says that I have completed this, now I have a certain level of proficiency in this, and this proves what it is that I can do with it, and that is basically why people get it, because they want to prove that I've, I've gone through something and I've, and I've learned something. And I think all of this is great, it's great that we have all this online, uh, and it's great that we have these resources, but I think in terms of when you think about whether or not you should or should not get one, what you have to do is you have to ask yourself some more personal questions. And that is, that is how you can find out whether or not you should really get one. Because a lot of these will be quite similar. There will be different tools, but they are trying to teach you a lot of the similar similar things. Of course, in different ways, there are different ways that the IBM one is trying to teach you something, the Google and the Microsoft one. But at the end of the day, it's been the same thing. Some people have sat down, they said, a lot of people out there want to become data analysts. Let's put together a, a pathway that they can follow. And, and at the end, we're gonna give them some sort of recognition that they can put on their resume or that they can bring, bring with them. If you're still watching and you like this video and you wanna see more videos on data analysis, then consider subscribing and help me hit my goal of 10,000 subscribers in 2021. What you really have to do is you have to ask yourself some questions and you have to kind of relate the certificate to yourself, yourself and the situation that you are in because Seeing as it is a mass consumption product, the real thing is that you have to kind of, you have to look at that product from your own point of view. And that is kind of when you can find out whether or not you should really do one. Because I actually, since I started this channel, I get a lot of questions. Should I take this one? Should I not take this one? Um, and from a point of, one point of view, it's just to say, hey, you have the opportunity to, to learn a lot here. Of course you should do it, but it really depends on a lot of other factors. So let's take a look at these questions. Some of them overlap, but let's just go one by one see if we can we can get to some sort of conclusion so the first thing is what is a certificate to you and what i mean by that question is is this the your first ever that you are going to learn anything about data analysis is it your third certificate is it the 10 certificates so i think it's very important to kind of look at it for yourself and ask yourself you know what is it to to for me like what does this mean to me like am i just going to 
look at something that I've seen before through a different different pair of eyes or is it something totally new for me? I think the two next questions that I have is why should you get a certificate and what are your expectations by getting a certificate are two questions that are very important and that you should ask yourself before you start so that you don't get disappointed when you are done if you feel that you didn't re really learn that much or if you get done and then you want you start to apply for jobs and you say hey but I have a certificate now this should this should fix it and just understand that especially if it's your first certificate or your first time learning about this area of data analysis that it is going to be so much information it's going to be hard for you to assimilate that information to to real life or connect it to other things that is going to take some time I think that is also something you should ask yourself you have to keep in mind that this doesn't necessarily result or or in any way um, guarantee that you will get a job but that yeah this is a good start and and I'm managing my expectations then I think you should you should go for it fourth and fifth is um, do you have time to get a certificate and how will you make the most of the certificate and I think that you know some of these certificates they talk about that they go over six months you know they go I think one of them says ten months is a certain amount of hours during the week and that is kind of how they imagine that you will do it and I know how it is I've taken these certificates myself it's easy to kind of get into it you want to get through it fast you, you, you want to learn as much as possible because you're eager you think it's a lot of fun um, but you do have to pace yourself and and some of you guys might not have that much time you know you have families you have your current job it takes time to learn all these things it's a lot of different topics uh, during a new job process which you might not know that well you have to look at the time you have and kind of figure out is this the best time or are there other things that I can focus on which will also make me proficient in this area but it's just not right now I do the certificate thing there are other things that I can focus on and also how will you make the most of the certificates um, one thing is time wise that you can make the most of it while you are taking it but also when you are when you are done with it how will you actually be able to utilize it how will you be able to kind of sell it how will you be able to relate it to what you're doing right now like have you really thought about one thing is the path that they put out for you but what are you going to do outside that to make sure that you you, you learn a lot of concepts but how can you actually apply and connect that to other other areas of your life so that you, you can come up with those examples and make those connections outside of this specific pathway that they have kind of set up for you set up for you which they want you to follow so it's one two three four five six my sixth question is why have you chosen that specific certificate it seems like people have different reasons sometimes it's the vendor that is offering it they like this vendor more than that sometimes they might like the style which is in you know this style that they teach in, in one of them versus the other it seems like it's a style that fits you more I've also seen people that decide based on which tools they use in the specific certificate once again, I think this comes back to, is it your first certificate? Um, do you know why you are taking this exact one? Is it something special, specific that stands out? Or, or do you really, you, you don't know, you just heard it's a good one. But it's, it's good to think about, you know, if you have a certain tool in mind or there are some tools that you definitely don't think that you'll use in the future, of course that should, that should play into whether or not you choose a specific certificate. But keep in mind that it's a lot of information and when you are going to use this in a job setting or other settings, you will be asked questions where you need to be able to understand the concepts that you learn during the data analyst certificate and then how you're going to apply that to another situation. No one's going to take print out a syllabus from the certificate and ask you about specific things from this uh, certification process. They're going to ask you about concepts that you learned there and if you can kind of connect these concepts to, to some other some other questions that they will ask and the last question I have is where does this certificate fit into your timeline and what I mean by that is have you have you thought about like if you are to get a job like how far ahead do you imagine that you will be able to get a job what are the different activities that you are going to make sure that you do as you go there and where does the certificate fit into that because I think it's important to not get into kind of a routine or, or thinking that more certificates equals a higher probability of getting a job. I think that it's important that as you are taking the certificate, you need to as soon as possible start thinking about what I'm learning here. How can I how can I apply that or how would I imagine using that if you have a current job or if you are studying the, the knowledge that I have here. Do I have any other use cases where I can think about how this connects? And also make sure that you are also starting to look for jobs, you're applying for jobs so that you can start to kind of get a feel of how long you get in the process of trying to get to that goal which is getting a job because if you can start to, if, if you can get interviews if you can get that far in the process that is when you will be able to see how much of this can you actually use in those 
situations and then maybe if you try that for a certain amount of time then you can come back you can consider doing another one if you feel like, like you haven't learned enough but i think it's important to not get into a loop of doing certificates and just doing more and more and more but also remember that you, you have to have it has to be part of some sort of timeline and it, you tell yourself this is where i focus on the certificate part but during that it's important that i start to look at my resume and start it's important that i start trying to get some interviews it's important that i start to apply to, to some jobs so that this is just a part of the process to the end goal which is not getting more and more certificates but it is of course to get an actual job and start getting hands-on experience so to try to wrap this up whether you should or should not get a certificate you can tell by my questions and my thoughts is that it is a very individual um, decision and i think that getting a certificate i think it's a good idea but I do think that you need to make a plan and figure out where is that certificate, where does that fit into that plan. And the end goal is, of course, to get a job and that this is just part of the process to get there. And don't forget to, to kind of raise your eyes and look at the entire process from time to time so that it doesn't become a, a uh, it doesn't become a thing where you're just trying to gather as much knowledge as possible. And you're really just knowledge gathering and you, you don't really expose yourself to that to try to apply it and kind of get a feel for those interview questions and those situations so you can see how good are you at actually using the information you learn from the certificate processes, from your data analyst portfolio, from these other things, these other sources you're looking at and actually testing yourself in a real life environment, which is the job processes out there. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos on data and analytics, then subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>